Oh, you're glad they're over here on the other side. If you want them. Those are your glasses. Trying to see, man. All right, I will say real human words. Make this part. Uh, really good job, everybody. It's, it's awesome watching all you guys. And two, um, it's awesome seeing, like, I get to go do something I really love to do during the day. Uh, and it's awesome to know I got Woods here uh, taking care of the in class. And and then I have all these people that can walk around and help. And, and I, you know, we're still growing and still doing better and still getting better at jujitsu and learning new things and keeping our minds open. And everybody's movement was awesome. Chaining moves together, that's a been a, a, you know, a big focus is being able to those flow drills to do things like where like it is when we roll, right? That's a big thing everybody remarks on is like, man, I'm doing these when I roll. Uh, these transitions, linking things together. So uh, really good movement and really good job, you guys. You can attend tonight. It's awesome. Uh, we want to we want to recognize some of you for for all your hard work. I mean, some of you guys are here every day. You know. Uh, teaches five days a week I'm in the morning, 5 a.m., uh, and then usually comes in and works with me on Sunday, and I make him ride bikes and walk around <laughs> and stuff, too. Right? And he and does kickboxing other things, too, and, and is really just, like, dedicated himself to putting in the time, and that's what it takes for all these people staying up here for so much time, you know? So, uh, really proud of you guys. I thought this was, uh, it was great seeing all you guys work hard. I know we did a lot of drilling. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna start doing uh, doing promotions real quick. Do you want to say anything, Mr. Green? Do you want to? Um, man, I tell you what. Why don't we that just at the end, right after we get, let's let's jump right in. All right. Uh, so let's we do a, a few more white belts. Recognize them. Uh, Dalton. Sub only matches at some cage class in Fort Smith this weekend. If you guys want to show support, tickets are 30 bucks, and the matches will start around uh, 5, 5 30. So, good job, buddy. He's just going to train super hard.
things to say about people drilling, but people kept making comments about you and Niles oh. in y'all's group and how good you were. Guys, I can't come to my morning class. <laughs> 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 I'm not taking credit for any of my help. But these freshers run a really tough time. Thank you. Good job. Hey, Matt, real quick. Here's a certificate. Guys, we're doing, I uh, got some new certificates. If you got a, a color belt promotion last time, uh, Edward, you know, a few of you, I've got some certificates for you uh, that we can give you back. Uh, to this fact that it's the last pressure. All right. Uh, next, signs here. class he's been coming uh, two years now so we're excited about that and if it wasn't for him and a couple of guys in the morning showing up on a regular basis I wouldn't get to do jiu-jitsu so I'm extremely <laughs> grateful for Niall and the guys that come in the morning and their effort and their dedication has been pretty inspiring to me it's kept me on the mat and I'm just trying to return the favor of what Brian taught me to them so I really appreciate all their hard work thanks sir <laughs> story when Johnny Western and I got promoted to Blue Belt. He said that. And we went back and what 
Because <laughs> we didn't have belts, it was, it was in a, kind of unplanned. Uh, Caleb didn't have belts at that event. Yeah. Things like that. We may have been some ugly people. No. <laughs> no. No. on Fridays, and we talked house next somehow, uh, uh, into coming in with us, and we did arm drag, and uh, that was in Woods' original private lesson spot, we turned into an open mat we had for years, he worked with me in years at that time, so we said, hey, we Thank you. 
only reason he's not here is because he gets COVID. <laughs> I'm gonna do uh, one more promotion, but what what I wanted this particular rectory to be about was about the the people that are building, other than just not just a me party. I realized that a few years ago, and then, and then it's like, well, okay, figure out how to share this with people, right? Figure out how to delegate, how to ask, how to hey, you just you got it, you know what you're doing, you're my bro, right? And just just trusting and letting people have some freedom and have fun and teach and, and grow and learn and experiment. And I really wanted to, to recognize people that are doing a lot of behind the scenes stuff. It's not just these flat belts up here. It's people helping with kids class, teen class. It's helped with kids class and teen class. I mean, that's many, many of you talk about out here teach, right? Uh, we're help or assist, we're have assistance. And uh, that's greatly appreciated. I just want to highlight those people and, and give those people also an opportunity to uh, highlight some of their people um, that they've raised up. It's like I can't credit claim for for now 100%. Hey, we spent some time together, but I can look at what he's done. And when I work with him, I know he's going to exhaust his class, right? Um, and it's awesome to see people that I don't really interact with a ton, and they're still on track. They're still getting better. And I and I, I am plus from it a little bit. I don't have to to be overseeing every rep and be like, mm, I can talk with these people and get feedback. How's everybody doing? What do we need to work on? It just takes better communication, right? And um, 
that's been like my how I'm trying to grow, not just with jujitsu techniques, it's just you know, and a, empowering you people that are helping. And uh, yeah, I just want to let you guys know I'm real thankful uh, for all of you, not just not just ones that are helping in Beeson, you guys that are here, you're part of the process too. Okay, Josh, come on up here. And you guys that don't know what y'all do, do, Josh is like a lifelong martial artist and himself. He's got sports band and judo, portal belt, Nikito, and he's, he's trained in everything. It's not just jujitsu. This is not even possibly his final frontier. He's kickboxing and doing other stuff too. <laughs> he's a martial artist, right? without leadership and, and the leaders on this front line just pretty much deserve another round of applause. I want to tell you one thing. I'm, I'm going to use this line uh, uh, from Woods is that it, all of us, not, not just you guys, all of us, myself included, from time to time you have to renew your relationship with your martial arts. You know, I love that that concept, so I'll, I'll credit what credit is due. And that's, you know, I mean, uh, I, I tell people a lot of times that I have to, I've had to reinvent myself as a martial artist, age, injury, life circumstances. But you're not going to do that if you don't renew that relationship. And, and it's tough. This is a grunt. Like, you know, you're talking about all these people up here, years and years and years, and there's you know, all the trials and tribulations of life from, you know, jobs and marriage and, and what an injury and, and all the things, family, there's so many things that, that creep up that maintaining that, that, that desire, you know, in my uh, patch of the LDMA, it's, you know, desire, discipline, defense, because without desire, it just doesn't happen. And you know, sometimes you have to kindle that desire. You've got to renew that relationship. So uh, I love that concept because it does speak. It speaks volumes because that's how you're going to stay with it. And, the, and man, exercise can be tough. I, tell you, you know, I, I had co. I got the COVID, which was it was a non-event for me. Thank God. You know, I'm blessed that it wasn't a deal. The hardest part for me was sitting my butt on the couch for and being locked in my house and not being able to train. And I was like, oh man, the depression, you know? So coming coming out of it, just, you know, picking back up and, and stuff like that happens. It's a weird time out there, but you guys have got a beautiful school. You've got great, I mean, it's very rare. What, we, what happened here tonight, what I'm seeing tonight, A, to have five people come up through the ranks, fundamentally the same and get their black belts. That, I've been all over the world with jiu-jitsu. That just doesn't happen very often. That is so rare because the attrition rate, you know, is is so huge to have that many people to be able to on their own journeys, uh, in their own way, you know, be able to make it out of one school is fantastic. I mean, even in one organization, but one school that's very, very, very rare to have six people Ryan up here to be able to to make it to black belt at one time. That's huge. You know, I've been at rank reviews in Brazil where that didn't happen, where the gyms were a hell of a lot bigger. I mean, that's huge. And to see this much color, I mean, the number, normally it's a wall of white belts and, you know, you got some blue belts and then a couple of purples, you know I mean? That, look, at, look at the number of, of purple belts. That's, that's fantastic. I mean, it makes my heart happy, honestly, it does. And that, to be up here standing with all these black, because I've watched you know, every single one of these people for so long, I mean, um, coming up through the ranks. I, I told Brian Ryan, 
feel like a proud grandpa, you know, and Cora, that, to have, a, that's, you know, our active female. We've had one other get a black belt, one other lady get a black belt in, uh, on when she was part of Team LDMA, but to have an active, you're the first active black belt, female black belt we've had in, in quite some time, and that's, uh, that's huge, you know, I mean, that's a kind of the torch bearer for, for our ladies. That's, that's a big, you know, things like that mean so much to me, you know, and, and so it's been a blessing. I'm proud of you guys. I enjoy, one of my biggest joys is just getting to see those snapshots of you guys progressing. Like Brian was saying, you know, as y'all are growing and with what he's doing and the black belts and the instructors, but I treasure being able to travel around and see all the, the schools that are part of the team and watch your development. You know what I mean? That that's kind of that's a that's a big thing for me. So anyway, I'll shut up. It's been a long night, but uh, I'm proud of you guys. I'm proud of Brian and Cora. I'm proud of every black belt up here. You guys are awesome, and uh, thank y'all very much. Let's pay our respects. Yeah, we're gonna afford. Yeah, we're gonna afford the.